Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. It's not a makeup video and it's not a hair video. It's a tag video. I feel like you guys don't really know me like that, like that, and I didn't wanna do like the regular or get to know me tag. So I found these questions online. It's the invade my privacy tag. Ooh, ooh. And there are 20 questions where they just basically ask you personal questions and yeah that's what we're gonna be doing today if you want to see a tutorial on this makeup i did one it's gonna be linked down below it's probably already on my channel by now so yeah before this video starts don't forget to subscribe down below there's nothing on my teeth no okay. no uh, not yeah there is before this video starts don't forget to subscribe down below give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below and let's get into it okay so the first question is, did you wake up cranky? Yes, I did. I actually woke up in pain. My back was hurting, my legs were hurting, my waist was hurting. That's because your girl has her period and she wakes up mad as hell, sad as hell. So that's just the way um, Flo was kicking with me today. Question number two, would you date an 18 year old at your current age? <laughs> I'm 21 years old. <laughs> what can an 18 year old do for me? Is yeah, so what can an 18 year old do? What would he do for me? He's probably still in high school. I'm damn near about to graduate college. I'm gonna pick him up from school early. You better Are you serious? Like, I, no, the answer to that question is no. I, I will not date an 18 year old at my age. I'm 21 years old. I'm turning 22 this year. An 18 year old can't do anything for me unless he has a million dollars. Question. Question number three is, do you prefer to be friends with boys or girls? And I know some girls like to be friends with guys because they don't talk shit or they're easier to be around or they're chill. And that's true. Guys are really, really funny. But at the end of the day, girls know about makeup, about hair, about periods, stuff like that. You know, they could relate to you. So the answer to that question is going to be girls. Number four, would you ever smile at a stranger? I do it on a daily basis, especially when they're staring at me. I just give them a little, like, okay, that's enough. I see you. Okay? Okay? Bye! Number five, can you commit to one person? Yes, I can. I'm actually very loyal. <laughs> if I should say myself, I've never cheated. I probably got cheated on many times, but I've never cheated, so that's all that matters. Number six, how do you look right now? Beat as fuck. I look good. I don't know, I look good today. Do I look good? I did a tutorial on this makeup and I think it's so cute. It came out better than I expected. My hair is bomb, my skin is bomb, my makeup is bomb. Okay, Ashley, stop. You sound conceited. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. Number seven, what exactly are you wearing right now? So I'm wearing this pink bodysuit from Boohoo. It's ribbed and I'm wearing some booty shorts okay so number eight how often do you listen to music every day if it's not playing while i'm in the shower it's playing in my car if it's not playing in my car it's playing on my phone it's not playing on my phone it's playing on my computer number nine do you wear jeans or sweats more sweats well i wear shorts i wear shorts a lot but i wear leggings even more on a daily basis you'll catch me in either leggings if i'm out or in shorts if I'm home. I wear jeans like here and there, but honestly, comfort is more important to me than looks. So I wanna say sweat slash leggings. Number 10, do you think your life will change dramatically before 2020? Let's see, that's in two years, I'll be 24. I mean, I should have my own apartment. I really have my own car, but I would like an upgrade. You know, if I have a great job, I would do one of Mercedes Benz. Nothing wrong with being bougie. Like, I do want a Mercedes at some point in my life. I should be working at a great job and making me bank. I should have an upgrade on my car. What else? I should be filled with happiness and love and success and the usual. Number 11, are you an introvert or an extrovert? <sighs> I would say I'm a little bit of both. Like, I'm very shy. I'm actually very, very, very shy. Yeah, I'm very friendly. If you talk to me, you come up to me and say, hi, how are you? But like, hey, my name's Ashley. How are you? 
like I'm very shy, especially if I don't know you or if I'm out like in a big group. I usually keep quiet to myself. Now, my friends who actually know me, know me, and I'm comfortable around them, they know. They know the real Ashley. The real Ashley is fun. <laughs> I don't want to say it. The real Ashley is very, very, very fun, very talkative, very crazy, very wild, and yeah, just get to know me and you get to see that side of me. Number 12. If the person you like say they like somebody else, what would you say? The funny part is this happened to me in high school, so <laughs> what can you do about it? Like what else can you say? If they don't like you back, they don't like you back. You can't force it. And in high school, I learned this the hard way. Like the hardest way anyone could ever learn this lesson. If they don't like you, they don't like you. That's it. Point blank period. Don't waste your time. Move on. Bye Felicia. That's all you could say. Sign off. Number 13. Are you good at hiding your feelings? I would like to say that I am, but people say that my face gives it all away. If I'm sad, I'll be like, I'm not sad. My face gives it all away. That's what I've been told. I like to say I'm great at hiding my feelings, but you know, I can't see my own face unless I'm in the mirror, so you gotta trust the people looking at you. Number 14, can you drive a stick shift? No, I cannot, and it's actually a funny story behind stick shifts back when i was um was i a freshman or a sophomore i was a freshman we went somewhere for spring break and the person who was driving us to the beach got really drunk you know they got lit at the beach whatever they couldn't drive us back and it was three of us that went and obviously she got too drunk so she couldn't drive her own car so we we're like okay so we could drive a stick shift and we all looked at each other like Like, so what are we gonna do? So long story short, we ended up leaving the car at the garage where it was, I'm coming back to get it the next day, but none of us could drive stick shift. That was three people. Three cannot, like, couldn't drive a stick shift. That's sad. I really wanna learn, but there's no one that can really teach me. So, number 15. Do you care if people talk badly about you? I want to say I don't, but that would be a straight up lie. I do. I don't know. I'm trying to get out the habit of caring what people say about me, but it it's hard. Like, but I feel like if I didn't do anything to you, then why not? Like, I'm a cool person. I'm nice. I'm a cool mom. I do care what people say about me, and it's kind of sad because at this age, you would think that I would kick the habit. That's it. Like, you don't like me, you don't like me. When you want to talk shit, then talk shit. Like, I can't stop you. Like, I know it's not true. My friends know it's not true. My family knows it's not true. So I don't know what else I can do. But just live my life. Number 16. Are you going out of town soon? Yes, I am. I'm going to Orlando next week for spring break with my friends. We're going to Universal's and Volcano Bay. Even though we've been to Universal like six times already. But we're going to go again. doesn't matter. It's the memories that count. Number 17. When was the last time you cried? <laughs> I can tell you the last time I haven't cried. <laughs> I cry almost every week. I know it sounds sad, but I like to get everything out. And this week was because my period. I feel like crying is relaxing for me, kind of. I'm getting everything out, like everything I want to say, mad, sad, everything that's coming out. It's like a detox for me. Number 18. Have you ever liked someone you didn't expect to? Yo. Number 19. If you could change your eye color, what would you if you could change your eye color would you and what color would they be i mean i've always liked hazel eyes <laughs> i mean hazel eyes is pretty but i like my brown eyes i like my big brown eyes number 20 name something you have to do tomorrow i'm actually getting my hair done tomorrow tomorrow's saturday and by the time I upload this, it's gonna be like past Saturday, but I'm getting my hair in faux locks for the first time. I'm actually really excited. Like, I saw some pictures of it, and her work is bomb. Like, the bomb.com. Can't wait to be slayed by China. So, that's all the questions for this tag. I had a great time filming this, as you could tell. And yeah, I feel like I should do these more, they're kind of fun. 
you know the drill thank you guys so much for watching before you leave don't forget to subscribe down below like this video or give it a big thumbs up before you go thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye